Good afternoon. On behalf of the Chancellor's Advisory Committee on Sustainability, we would like to welcome you to the ninth annual Sustainability Summit. Uh, my name is Kayla Colwell. And I'm Catherine Walsh, and we are the co-chairs um, of the Chancellor's Advisory Committee on Sustainability. Um, we are thrilled to have you here for this momentous event. And before we start uh, what we believe is going to be a fantastic program, we'd like to just cover uh, a few logistical items and as well as give a few thank yous. Um, we really would like to thank uh, for their help in making this possible, the CACS uh, Summit Subcommittee Planning Team. We'd like to thank uh, Percy Fordyce from Capital Projects. Yep. <laughs> uh, students Joanna Young and Brooke Greenberg, the Greening Operations Team, Innovative Design, the Berkeley Art Studio, and the Green Initiative Fund. So if you could join me in thanking them. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the poster session featuring over 20 campus sustainability projects. So we'd also like to give a round of applause for these environmental leaders. Uh, we encourage you to please continue enjoying the refreshments that have been provided by Cal Dining. You may bring food and water into the auditorium, but no coffee and tea. Um, we would also like to note that this event has been certified a zero waste green event and we'd like to thank Cal Dining and Citrus for helping us uh, with both having composting, recycling, having sustainable foods and thank Kira Stoll for helping us with the certification process and we hope that you will use the recycling and composting bins that you see uh, and help us strive for zero waste. We have an exciting rest of the program planned for you, featuring mar remarks from Chancellor Bergino, the announcement of the 2012 Green Fund Grant and Sustainability Award winners, and an engaging panel session featuring Cal alumni working in sustainability in the private and public sectors. So now we would like to hand the microphone over to Lisa Neely, the Director of Sustainability here at UC Berkeley. So hello everybody, thank you all for coming here. I'm so excited about the turnout. It's also my pleasure today to get things started and to introduce Vice Chancellor John Wilton. Um, this is, uh, John's been on campus for a little over a year. We're very excited to have him here on campus. He's tackling a lot of very important problems that we're facing here on campus and I think uh, um, um, is really getting us off to a, um, a great start and everything. Um, he is, um, Joined uh, UC Berkeley from the World Bank, most uh, and um, uh, probably um, how many years did you spend at the World Bank? Too many. Too many. Okay. Um, now you know why I'm not telling a joke because he's funnier than I am. Um, um, and so I, I don't want to take too much longer, but I did just want to have uh, make sure everybody knew who uh, Vice Chancellor Wooden was and to welcome him up to the to the stage. Good afternoon. It's a, a real uh, privilege to be here. Um, this is a, I've been here a year and a month, and this is the first time that I have actually introduced the Chancellor, uh, and I think it's payback time. So <laughs> I'm going to abuse the privilege. Usually I follow him, and he gives uh, all of the uh, achievements of Berkeley, uh, either over his tenure or, or even more recently, and it's an incredibly uplifting um, presentation, and then I uh, come after him and discuss the financial challenges we face. <laughs> so I was trying to think of a way where I could steal some of his uh, his uh, you know upside stories, but I'll leave it to him. Uh, so most of you know uh, that the Chancellor has been here since 2004, and apart from being the Chancellor, he also holds uh, faculty appointments as both Professor of Physics and the Professor of Materials in Science and Engineering. Uh, and most of you know that, unfortunately, he's decided to return uh, to the academic side of the shop till 
uh, in January. And uh, certainly speaking personally, uh, it'll be a tremendous loss uh, for us uh, not to have him as uh, Chancellor. And if any of you get a chance to uh, discuss it with him and persuade him otherwise, I really encourage you to take the opportunity over coffee or whatever. Uh, but during his tenure as Chancellor, uh, Chancellor Bergino has been a dedicated steward of campus sustainability and climate action. Uh, in particular, the Chancellor has supported the efforts of CACS to institutionalise sustainability and address uh, emerging issues. He's also been a consistent advocate for the students who are working to make our campus greener. In addition to establishing UC Berkeley as a leader on greenhouse gas emission reductions and water conservation, under the Chancellor's tenure, UC Berkeley has seen the launch of such centres as the Berkeley Energy and Climate Institute and the Energy uh, Bioscience Institute. Also, campus programmes such as Cal Energy Corp and the Green Initiative Fund. Chancellor Bergenau is an advocate for the greening of our infrastructure. The campus has many building projects underway to both renew our physical plant and provide the 21st century facilities for teaching and research. These projects incorporate significant energy and water efficiencies. Most recently, Chancellor Bergenau has led campus efforts to include energy management in operational excellence an exciting new initiative that has launched building dashboards and other resources to help reduce our energy use through behavioural change. So please uh, join me in welcoming Chancellor Bergeron. Thank you so much, John. That wasn't so bad. Actually, you should hear him when he's actually genuinely uh, uh, exercising his British wit, uh, <laughs> which uh, makes Oscar Wilde look uh, totally bland. So, the, the, uh, anyway, it's great to be here, uh, literally and figuratively, since I literally just flew in from the East Coast. And I was uh, uh, telling Elliot Goldstein that uh, I'm almost embarrassed to admit he's got inside my brain because I. And he's right. <laughs> Not in all ways, <laughs> but in one important way, because I find, you know, in, in the role as chancellor, you go to a fair number of fancy dinners with fancy people, uh, including for the last several days in both DC and New York. And every time the waiter comes over and is about to deliver bottled water, I say, no, we don't drink bottled water. <laughs> And, 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 then I, and then I explain to the people uh, at the table that, that, you know, how good tap water tastes and they ought to start adapting that too. And this is yet another area where, where Berkeley leads the country. So anyway, so it's quite, uh, so it's, it's great to be, able to, to, to be able to do that. Of course, everybody thinks we're just nuts here at Berkeley. So <laughs> I say, no, no, this is real and this is important, okay. So welcome everyone to the ninth Annual Sustainability Summit. Uh, and uh, I want to thank all of the participants uh, in the poster session. I, unfortunately, because of my just arriving in, only got a chance to spend like 10 seconds at each one, but it, it was the usual, but uh, I'm a fast reader, the uh, uh, usual exciting uh, array of uh, projects that are going on. And I'm always impressed just by the sheer, the innovation and the sheer number of sustainability projects that we always have going on uh, on this campus. And that accidentally. Um, okay. Uh, so, uh, as uh, what was shown up there is that this is the ninth sustainability summit, so it's actually the eighth of my uh, time as chancellor. And often, when I'm giving uh, speeches to the sort of public generally, uh, and so uh, this is not, you know, it, it's easy to be obsequious to the true believers when you're talking to a group like this, but when I'm talking to a more general group, uh, I always put some amount, some uh, comments about sustainability uh, in my speeches, and then I comment specifically that I, when I came to Berkeley, I was largely uneducated about sustainability, that's an empirical fact, uh, and that I learned about sustainability uh, from the students here at Berkeley, and so that's genuinely true, beginning with actually the very first summit when I got to go over the notes and just 
and meet with the leadership and just see all of the really incredible things that our students are doing and in meeting with the students just the real passion, uh, passion that they have for sustainability. Um, we've of course seen many projects, John referred to them uh, in the last eight years. Uh, in my first summit actually in 2005, CACS had just completed its first sustainability assessment. That was really a, a document that defined our measured uh, and measured our sustainability challenges and laid out a plan of, a plan of action. Um, and since then, the campus has published four reports on our progress toward achieving goals we set for our community, documenting how UC Berkeley is turning sustain sustainability into action. Uh, at the 2007 summit, which was two years later, we announced the campus greenhouse gas emissions reduction target, which was to return to the 1990 levels by 2014. Uh, and this bold goal uh, calls on the campus to reduce our emissions about one third. Uh, at first I thought it was sort of peculiar in 1990 and why we didn't choose 2000 or something, but actually it turned out that if we'd chosen around 2000, that was too easy a target, because for a while we were buying uh, power from, from a company that was extremely wasteful. And so, so, uh, so saving from them would have been, from that time would have been easy. From 1990, it's a real challenge uh, that the campus has taken, has taken on. Um, through the Cal Climate Action Partnership, or CalCAP, faculty, administration, staff, and students are collaborating to reduce greenhouse gas emissions uh, here at Berkeley. And to reduce our emissions, we focused on lowering our energy, energy use in our buildings uh, knowing that this investment will make them both more comfortable and better functioning. Uh, the campus strategic energy plan has completed numerous lighting, HVAC, and, and commissioning energy efficiency projects, which are anticipated to reduce 17,500 metric tons carbon dioxide equivalent. A few notable energy saving projects have included 800 exterior lamps converted to LED lights, and four building commissioning projects that have won best practice awards for their innovative and effective strategies. Uh, additionally, a new residence hall will open this year, I presume that's Anna Head, right, uh, with a solar thermal ins installation that will provide half of the facility's uh, domestic water heating. Uh, in order to reach our target, we'll also need to increase our energy saving behavior. And actually one of the interesting things when I meet with people who are passionate about this is Half is technology, but actually the other half is human behavior. So this is great because it's a role for the technologists, but also a role for the social scientists to help us ad to adapt. Uh, to that end, the campus has recently launched a comprehensive energy management program that includes departmental incentives to reduce energy use and a behavioral campaign, which is called My Power, to engage the community in energy conservation. Through the new My Power website, campus community can easily access energy efficiency information about targeted areas, have a venue to communicate concerns and energy saving ideas, and see real-time energy use through 57 uh, building dashboards. And presumably everyone can see all 57 buildings, right? So if the people next door are wasteful, you can go over and yell at them and say, stop <laughs> consuming so much energy. So I hope that you've had the opportunity to look at these dashboards that show how much electricity is being used and being saved. Uh, with all of these efforts, we've already reduced our emissions 5% uh, below 2008 levels and are working hard to ensure that we reduce them even further to achieve our goals. Uh, at last year's summit, we announced a potable water reduction goal 10% below 2008 levels uh, by 2020. And campus groups have already begun working to take us closer to this new goal. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, an important part of that actually is for uh, uh, East Bay mud to deliver to us uh, uh, non-potable water that we can use to water the grass, et cetera, that kind of thing. So part of reaching that goal uh, is actually dependent on them, or at least reaching it beyond what we already hope. <laughs> By installing weather stations to improve the accuracy of irrigation, uh, adding water meters to better detect leaks, converting lawns to meadows, and working with students in the residence hall, I'm pleased to announce that we've already seen a 7% water reduction in water use uh, since 2008. Uh, and we're just, this somewhat expensive, some of the things required to save water, so we're just doing them bit by bit, year by year, to get to the goal, rather than in one shot. Uh, UC Berkeley's renowned dedication to excellence does not stop at academics. 
Uh, it also translates into the broader uh, efforts to uh, be an environmentally sustainable campus. Uh, we also recently certified our eighth building project, the Bolt Law School Renovation Project, under the LEAD process. Remember, LEAD stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. Uh, this means almost 1 million square feet of campus space is now LEAD certified, and an additional 1 million is in process. Uh, we've also, uh, <clears throat> we will also be recognized in June at the California Higher Education Sustainability Conference with an award for best overall sustainable design for the new energy biosciences building, which is uh, great. Uh, other highlights of the last eight years include our Students Green Initiative Fund has supported almost 50 campus projects with almost a million dollars in student fees. Uh, over the last 20 years, the campus has made significant efforts to reduce our transportation impacts. Now 84% of faculty, staff, and students commute by walking, biking, ride sharing or public transit and that's been a really incredible evolution if you look at the uh, change over time. Uh, campus vendors continue to show leadership in their percentage of purchases of sustainable food which is now 25 percent. Uh, the efforts of our students have also been uh, extremely impressive. There are over 30 student environmental groups and numerous decals and student-run courses like the CalCAP graduate seminar and the the thing I, I love about these and all of the student projects is the creativity in the titles. So one of the decal classes is called The Joy of Garbage. <laughs> Supported by numerous grants, over 100 students have paid positions on projects to make the campus greener and hundreds more are volunteering time on innovative solutions. We've also led efforts to help advance sustainability in our surrounding community. Uh, in addition to being a founding member of the East Bay Green Corridor Partnership, uh, which is alive and well. Uh, we recently worked with the City of Berkeley on a green career exploration fair for local high school students. Uh, my own community partnership fund has also supported a project uh, to place artistic treatments on utility boxes on the campus edge that reflect UC Berkeley's actions and vision of sustainability. And these works of art will be unveiled next week, so that will be really exciting. Uh, I also don't want to neglect our waste reduction efforts. Uh, the campus is working on a strategy uh, to identify a path to zero waste so that by 2020, all of the materials generated on campus will be reused, recycled, or composted. So, yeah, you should, you should, you're clapping for yourself there, by the way. <laughs> come from you all. So how are we doing? Uh, the amount of solid waste sent to landfills by the campus remained steady in 2010. We diverted over 40% of our day-to-day -day waste from landfills, a number that rises to almost 70% when construction waste is included. Uh, in this case, personally, I credit less the students for our personal waste and my wife, who's also a fanatic about, about <laughs> eliminating waste. So she yells at me every day if I go to put a container in the inappropriate, <laughs> or puts a, anyway. Uh, <laughs> She yells at me about some other things, too. But <laughs> uh, the campus is actively installing new indoor and outdoor bins, as well as new standardized signage to help direct people to the right choice. Uh, our athletics department has joined cause pledging to achieve zero waste at Memorial Stadium and diverting 85% of waste at a basketball game earlier this spring. Uh, our students are also committed to seeing us achieve zero waste. The student managed reuse program operates 16 on-campus reuse stations for office supplies and was also involved with the Campbell Hall project that diverted waste during the move out. Uh, with the help of CACs and TGIF funding, the Compost Alliance has implemented compost systems in nine campus buildings with a goal of adding six more by June. In fact, the Compost Alliance will be assisting my office, California Hall, with its zero waste launch next week. Uh, but we'll need more to do more to fully achieve zero waste. Uh, this ambitious goal will mean expanding access to recycling and composting more broadly throughout the campus, improving waste reduction education, increasing reuse of products, and working through procurement efforts to increase vendor take-back programs and to change what we buy. To that end, Physical Plant Campus Services is working with CACs to put together a strategic and a business plan for reaching zero waste by 2020. Uh, these two plans 
are expected to be completed later this year and are expected to bring us closer to success on this important goal. Uh, now, it's my pleasure to announce the winners of the 2012 Green Fund Grants. These have been given annually since 2006, and these grants enable members of the campus community to undertake projects that create a greener campus. Uh, this year's winners are an interesting range of products, projects, pardon me, reflecting the campus interests in waste, food, and water. And will the recipients of the grants please rise as I name the project? And we'll have a round of applause for all of them, both for the project and for the most creative title. Uh, so, the, uh, 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 so the first uh, title is Weedem and Reap, <laughs> Replacing Invasive Plants Along Strawberry Creek, Nathan Bickart, Undergraduate in Conservation and Resource Studies, and Restoration Coordinator for the Strawberry Creek, Creek Restoration Program. So Nathan, can you stand up? Mm -hmm. so, my notes actually say to tell you all to hold off your applause at the end, but I hate that, actually. I think it's much better when the person stands up and you get the record. So, so I'll encourage you to keep doing what you're doing. Uh, uh, and the purpose of this project is to identify plant native species that can re resist reinvasion by ivy and periwinkle and contribute other uh, uh, in other ways to the valuable ecosystem. Okay, the next uh, project is to go or not to go, which takeout food container is best? By <laughs> Monica Harnato, an undergraduate in environmental sciences and a Cal Dining Sustainability intern. <laughs> and the purpose of this project is to determine the costs and benefits of reusable and biogradable food containers and to test the feasibility of a reusable food container program in Cal Dining. That's great. The next uh, project, the title is A Reuse Job for Superman. And this is by Claire Porter. Claire, are you here? Claire is an undergraduate in environmental sciences and co-manager of the campus reuse program and, to and the purpose is to renovate the reuse station in Barrows Hall to give a much needed facelift to the program's flagship station, which is nestled in an, is this really true? In an abandoned phone booth? Yes. <laughs> Not that you wouldn't tell the truth, but that's, that's really bad. Okay. Uh, the next project is Get Bin Smart by Julie Brown. Julie, you're here. She's a staff assistant, campus recycling and refuse services, and to the Compost Alliance. And the purpose of this is to educate the campus community about recycling and composting, especially about what is com compostable, compostable and recyclable, and where to dispose of each type of waste. Um, uh, next is titled, You Are What You Read, Learn While You Shop, by Carly Baker. Carly? Not here, apparently. Uh, who's an undergraduate in anthropology and conservation and resource studies and a member of the Student Food Collective. Uh, and this is to improve the collective's educational programs, develop in-store displays and posters, and expand its speaker series uh, by and about local green businesses. Uh, the next one is entitled, Which Way to the Water Fountain? by Allison Beach. And Allison is an undergraduate in political science and conservation resource studies and Take Back the Tap campus coordinator. And this is for signage to improve tap water visibility uh, and a campaign to educate students about the benefits of drinking tap water versus bottled water. And congratulations to uh, all of the grant recipients. <laughs> CACs, along with other campus programs such as the Green Initiative Fund, the Office of Sustainability, Building Sustainability at Cal and Green Campus, currently has over 100 students working in paid positions on projects to make our campus greener. Uh, I'm also excited to present the winners of the Campus Sustainability Awards. Uh, the campus community is indebted to the hard work of students, staff, and faculty, making Berkeley a more sustainable place to work 
live and play. And I'm pleased to honor the five award recipients for 2002. Our first award goes to Cal Dining. <laughs> Cal Dining is a sustainability leader both on the Berkeley campus and among higher education food services. Uh, and since they last won a, CAC, a CAC Sustainability Award in 2005, Cal Dining, Cal Dining has implemented multiple new sustainability initiatives involving students along the way. Notable achievements include receiving Marine Stewardship Council certification for their seafood purchases, establishing a new sustainability team, and hitting the 25% mark for their purchases of local, organic, or fair trade food. Cal Dining also educates students through labeling of sustainable items on its menus, special events, and their website. And we're pleased to honor Cal Dining today. Sean LePen and Jenna Kincaid are accepting the award. Thank you. Thank you. I missed your name. Yeah. I had two names, and there's three of you. Yeah, we have That's okay. <laughs> Gotta get the award. <laughs> Our second award goes to the Campbell Hall replacement team. A diverse team of campus students and staff came together with the shared goal of diverting from the landfill as much material as possible prior to demolishing Campbell Hall. Uh, this project was innovative because of the impressive collaboration and partnership between student groups and staff. The project was enthusiastically received across the campus as well as by the community members. Uh, and I heard that the line to claim reused materials was several blocks long. Uh, in the end, 17 tons of waste were diverted from landfills. And we, we expect us to serve as a model for future projects. And so please, please join me in congratulating the team members who are here today, Kimberly Lamb, Lynn King, Tasha Dowdekin, Jim Wirt, Claire Porter, and Alan Palmer. Did I get all of these? Our next award winner is Domenico Car Caramagno. Uh, did I pronounce it correctly? Yeah. <laughs> Domenico has gone above and beyond the call of duty as building manager in order to improve the sustainability of Sitar Jedi Hall. I mean, just look around, right? <laughs> He's worked with building sustainability at Cal to quantify waste energy, waste, energy, and water saving opportunities within the building, and has installed a composting system that diverts two cubic yards of building waste per week from the landfill. Domenico has all, is also involved in research on energy efficiency and demand response in Sitar Jedi, and provides the research team with valuable knowledge and insight about the building operation. So thank you, Domenico. For all that. Our next winner is Morwenna Rowe. Morwenna. <laughs> Morwenna has been the Berkeley team lead for the Green Campus intern since her sophomore year. Uh, as part of her work with Green Campus, she co-facilitated multiple semesters of their two-unit energy decal, which teaches energy conservation and efficiency concepts to students from all majors. She also led initiatives such as the McCone Hall Lighting Retrofit, the Shut the, the Sash Fume Hood Competition, and a Vending Machine Miser Project. 
Morena brings a calm maturity to her work. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't very mature. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> to improve sustainability on campus and has worked to integrate sustainability in both the classrooms and its campus operations. And so thank you for your leadership. <laughs> Our final award winner is uh, Shruti Bat. <laughs> Shruti was a, hi, was a member of the Residential Sustainability Education Coordinator Program as a freshman, and her invaluable insights were instrumental to the success of various campaigns and programs in the residence halls. She went on to work uh, on the Building Sustainability at Cal Project as an intern in Stanley Hall and that took over the next year and a half as intern coordinator. She worked to help make Citrus a green department and has presented at multiple conferences. Sruti has an innate desire to create foundational and structural changes that lay the groundwork for future success. Congratulations. So in closing, I hope that you enjoy the rest of today's summit and that you're energized for future sustainability endeavors. Uh, I want to take a moment to thank CACS and Vice Chancellor Denton uh, for his support of the committee. Uh, CACS members have been instrumental in vetting important issues and building a community of sustainability. And I have to say, yeah, you people here, just so you know, and Ed's not here, you owe Ed because when we were going through our horrible budget cuts in that period, he said to I me, mean, you can't cut CACS. The, the, uh, the committee consistently helps make positive changes on campus and supports important programs like the Green Funds, the Sustainability Awards, and education efforts like this summit. And I also want to thank Kayla Caldwell and Catherine Walsh for their hard work at planning the summit. So have fun and let's make every day Earth Day. Yeah. Go Bears! is actually made from reused clay and glaze by our own Berkeley Art Studio. Um, so again, thank you so much and we look forward to continuing our partnership thank with you. you. Take care, we can get that for you. <laughs> and thank you again to Chancellor Bergino and all of our grant and award winners.